All right, hey everyone, so I'm going to say welcome to Fun Grub. My name is Mark, your main host. And today, I, you're going to be looking at some of the foods and a drink I tried over at Tolstoy Cafe over at New Versa Studios Hollywood for their tech rehearsal and also, I was going to say, pass out a preview of the, ca of the food I tried. Otherwise, you haven't hit that like, subscribe. Otherwise, enjoy this uh, video right here. Alright, so we're going to be walking in right here. This is going to be during one of the tech rehearsal days, like, last month. So, the line is not too bad from when I went. But on the next couple of clips, I'm going to show you how it really looks from when I went to Passover Day on January 30th. So this is what it looks like for January 30th. So the line is actually way out the door for what it is. You do have to put a your name and your how many is gonna be in the party just to able to enter through this cafe. It was estimated maybe like an hour or so, so just be aware of that. It could be even longer, just be, just depends. For me, I was just buying myself, I got lucky just to do it, but if you were like a party of two or more, Expect to wait at least an hour before even getting the line just to, just to purchase the food here. So, it's heads up right now. Alright, so the first item I'll be trying is like this uh, honey, the superstar lemon drink right here. So it has like a lemon honey soda here, or something like that with some tropical uh, boba drink and like some mango star. I know it's hard to tell, but it's right there. Take a little of this drink, uh, I'll try it right now. Ooh, very fritzy, very lemony. And also honey too, so that's all what I taste really, but it's very refreshing, I can tell you that right now. So I definitely recommend this. I'm kind of drooling this all over my uh, face right now. I'm gonna take one more sip to make sure I'm drinking this right. Oh yeah, definitely get this. I'm giving it a five out of five. I'm drooling over this. I'm gonna try the next item right now. All right, the first item, or the next item I actually got from this, uh, from Toad's uh, Tool Cafe is this garlic cheesy knot right here. It has a shape like a mushroom. And if you look over here, it has the marinara sauce. And by smell it, you can smell that garlic essence and everything. It just looks really like out there, really buttery, how it is. So I'm gonna give this a try right now. Alright, so I'm going to try it just without the marinara sauce right now and see how it really tastes. Oh yeah. I can tell you right now, very garlicky, very cheesy. I just wish it was a little warmer, but it's okay. I still love it how it is, so I actually recommend this. I'm actually drooling over this. 
but I'm gonna try with the marinara sauce and I'll tell you how I really thought, think about it. Oh! Okay. The marinara sauce here is actually a little bit, a little sweet, a little savory-ish, but I love it. But overall, I would definitely recommend trying this. Give it a five out of five because I'm drooling it all over my face. So I'm gonna try the next item right now after I eat all this right here. All right, so the next item I'm gonna be trying out is this uh, Mario Mushroom Bacon Cheeseburger. So the only thing right now is actually big front is my face. Really hefty. Probably though it's really huge for what it is. And you got some uh, Chris Cut Pringle fries right here. Man, you can just see how big this burger is. It is really adorable too. It has a little um, mushroom, I mean mustache. Little uh, cap right here of Mario. So I'm gonna try this in a bit right now. All right, I'm gonna get this burger to try right now right here. So, take this little pick, which I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Adorable as hell. <laughs> so, try this massive burger right here. Mm. I definitely tasting like really strong bacon flavor here already. So I'm gonna take another bite because there's some mushrooms in here too. So. Very, very unami-ish, very savory, very smoky from the bacon. Can't really tell with the cheese, but take one more bite. I'll tell you how I really thought about it. Oh. So, I do think this is actually a four out of five because the meat has a little tad dry for how it is but overall i recommend trying this burger this once and i'm gonna be gonna try out the next thing here at uh the toast cafe right here all right so i'm back over at Tosco cafe for another round of food i'm gonna be trying right now so the first one I'll be trying is this Caprese right here. Kind of a cute little piranha shape. Has like some tomatoes, some mozzarella cheese, and a salad right here. And an apple vinegar, I want to say. Oh well, that's like a pretty cute plate, so really, really quick. We're not dropping this, so I'm gonna try it right now. So I'm gonna get this little try right now. This is pretty, so I'm gonna try it. Uh, try a little tomato first, so. Actually, these are really well. So now you know, I have some olive oil in here and some pesto. So this tomato is actually pretty good. Mm. Try to cheese. I'll try to let cheese right here. Mm. So I'll try to cheese is pretty fresh. Surprisingly. Right? I'm gonna try this salad here really quick. Put that with the bread. Good work. I think this vinaigrette is a little bit more on the sweeter side. I like it. A little good refresher starter course. I actually think it is maybe like a four out of five for how it is. So I'm gonna shout the next item right now. <laughs> So next time I'm gonna be trying is the Luigi burger. So it's like really like a grilled chicken with some 
I think it's mozzarella or Swiss cheese, I'm not sure. It has some like bell peppers in here, like the special sauce, and this uh, truffle fries, which is just crinkle fries, so. Looks good, so i try it out right now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try this um, chicken sandwich actually, so. Try to pick up this uh, toothpick right here. And let's try out the, bur the burger here. We're gonna call it burger in this case. So, cheers. I'm gonna try one more bite. Let's get a. Okay, it's actually not bad for what it is. It is a little healthier. It has some bell peppers in here and some taste. Like a lettuce in here with the pencil sauce. You need, might be a little bit of pencil sauce to make a little difference. Try a little more pencil sauce. Mm, oh. So what else? Adding the extra pesto sauce is gonna be a might like a three out of five for me personally. Adding more to it, it would be I'll say a four out of five. Otherwise, it's okay, not too bad. But anyways, I'm gonna try one more item here and then I'm heading out. So the last item I'm going to be trying out is this lovely dessert here. It is a um, mick, no, mount, uh, bean pole uh, cake here. And it sells a multi-layer Italian cookie cake with some matcha on, I want to say this is the top part right here. And it looks pretty, so I'm going to try it out right now. Alright, so I'm going to just try this out right now, really quick. Huh. A little hard to cut. It's the cookie, so. So I'll try this out right here. Mm. I can taste a layer cake here. And I, I want to say it has like a, a cocoa, a strawberry, like a like a cocoa. And then you can taste a little bit of the matcha. I think it's the top layer right here, but it's the matcha. I would actually recommend this. No, I can give it as a four out of five. I changed my mind. So it's a four out of five for me personally. I feel like there's something missing in here, but it's a solid kick to get. So otherwise, I'm gonna head out right now. I'm gonna finish this and set out. <laughs> All right, so I say, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video there. But otherwise, if you haven't hit the like or subscribe, please do so now because I go to a lot of, eating a lot of delicious food around the theme parks and more, and also enjoying a little fun at the meantime. But otherwise, have a good night, everyone.